Hey, hi, uh, hi everyone. This is Rakesh Shilamaran. I'm working as security engineer in Comcast India, and I have been working in cyber security domain for the past three years. So from college days, I am passionate about cyber security, and I wanted to uh, do a job in this domain first. And I also had plans to do some certifications. Initially, I planned to do CEH, but then uh, I found out like. Eight out of ten people have CEH certifications, and uh, everyone from different domains is also having. I just want to do some unique certification. By that time, I guess uh, that is a different certificate which is provided by EC Counselors (ECSCA), and unfortunately, it has been taken down. I'm actually enrolled for that certification, and CPENT was the immediate alternative. And uh, then I started digging research about how the CPENT certification is and what are all the modules. and the main thing which caught my attention is they have actually challenged oecp candidates to took the exam for free so that was my first attention and uh, i started enrolling it thought of taking the challenge okay so i love learning new things actually so when you are working in cyber security you have to keep on learn something new no so that was the first thing uh, which i loved about cpen the course modules are completely new and i thought it would be best to learn new concepts uh, that which i am not aware of actually and uh, it is close to real life scenarios and it will help you to understand how the real world penetration testing is done because this is the certification which is specifically for penetration testing right so how the penetration testing should be conducted how network level testing should be conducted and extra steps so and uh, another thing is uh, have the when you are preparing for the examination must we should develop the habit of learning it properly and spending proper time for the learning and uh, keep taking the notes as well and you have to practice repeatedly like uh, uh, i have practiced in try hack me and hack the box as many rooms as i can uh, relating to the modules which are available in the cpen course so that was one thing which i did for practicing and another thing is like uh, never procrastinate for learning and uh, appearing for the exam as well uh, because i took more than one year so uh, how difficult so it is not easy that you know already since the exam is uh, 24 hours and um, so uh, you have to spend multiple days and nights to properly practice and you have to learn daily uh, something new in terms of concepts or solve something in act the box or try act me whatever concepts that you are not aware of you should be prepared for that right and uh, you should also know how to do same thing in multiple ways when it comes to cpen certification like one of the method which you know familiar that will be blocked in the examination so you should know what is the other alternative you should have a backup plan so you have to go with the proper idea and coming to the hardest part uh, is getting greater than 90 percentage uh, to become an licensed penetration tester uh, which is uh, not at all hard but uh, uh, definitely you can score it uh, one thing you have to do is you have to pay extra attention when solving few questions so that's how uh, like i took some more time to prepare for uh, to get more than 90 percentage that's why i got uh, lpt as well again it's not difficult to obtain lpt uh, just you need to pay the extra attention when solving few things uh three things one is uh, modules covered uh, there are different modules like i guess around 12 modules uh, most of the modules are completely new a uh, bit uh, operational technology and iot and uh, networking so these modules are completely new and uh, i like the exam format very much so most of the candidates after seeing 24 hours uh, they will think that whether they can able to handle 24 hours at a stretch so the brilliant uh, strategy was making it as 2 into 12 hours and i guess it really worked out and the most of the candidates who preferring the exam is opting for 2 into 12 hours is what i heard from my circle so that's one of the thing which i really like and the third thing is uh, we are going to pay for only one certification and uh, when you cleared and uh, achieved greater than 90 percentage you will have two certification in your hand one is cpent and another one is lpt so that was the third point so coming to lab experience uh, there are two things one is uh, i labs and uh, the module exercise something it will be 
and uh, that is a third thing which is practice range that is uh, an alternative uh, before taking the exams so i labs the instructor video is too good but the content will be lengthy like uh, even um, if you are working in this domain you are already aware of some of the concepts and tools and some of the methodologies but uh, you need to watch it again because at some point there is something that we are not aware of so the video will be lengthy but you, that is no other way you have to watch it patiently and uh, coming to exercises uh, for all the modules uh, there are different exercises and uh, you need to solve it uh, each exercise one by one so you will have a clear idea on what you are learning about the particular module for example you are going to uh, solve the network penetration testing module you will have every instructions from what step 1 to step 20 is and you just need to follow it right and once you have completed that exercise and you are good to go in network penetration testing so that's how all the modules covered was too good and um, yeah uh, that's about the modules exercise modules and then the practice range is uh, something which helped me to put in a comfort zone before appearing for the examination because uh, those are the exact questions like uh, how it will reflect in your final exam so that was really helpful like uh, i can able to solve few questions and uh, that is a drawback as well in practice range like uh, you will come to know that uh, there are some machines and ip addresses which is not properly configured and you will end up in uh, like you won't be able to find any of the flags or something like that but uh, those things are common in practice range because some of the machines are not properly configured if you reach out to easy council for help they will actually help you to uh, resolve those machines particularly uh, yes, it is. Um, after achieving, uh, I'm delighted to be part of global group of ethical hackers who having this certification that to very few people cleared a license penetration tester. However, hand rolling uh, mostly try to get CPENT and uh, when you check the percentage of LPT people, it is very few and I'm proud to be part of that and i get more number of connection requests from linkedin uh, for the enquiries on how the certification is and how to prepare so those questions and i got a couple of job opportunities as well so it is good thing that i have uh, cleared lpt coming to cpent like uh, as i said the modules are new and uh, you can include pivoting double pivoting and uh, weaponization i really love the pivoting path and binary exploitation or the key topics here uh, which is uh, which i found really curious and what i did after learning binary exploitation is i started to learn reverse engineering because of that so it was very curious to learn uh, put me to learn new concepts as well and uh, uh, lpt is so good in the reporting part like uh, most of the people in this domain hate doing the reporting part for the assessment so this helped me to uh, how we can create a proper report uh, for the assessments that you are doing and comparing to oscp like uh, it is especially good and it is the king of all certifications and it is costly too uh, it is especially good in exploit development and uh, the capabilities uh, be it a privilege escalation and the manual exploitation post exploitation those parts so it is uh, really good uh, in terms of OSCP um, the next plan would be taking OSCP like short and simple solve whatever questions you know uh, like whatever you are confident so that will save the time and uh, always have the habit of making a detailed note so whenever you are learning or practicing something new uh, it will be a lifesaver and uh, solve vulnerable keyword tricks challenges uh, for some of the replications replications questions will be in the exam and uh, raw primer challenges as well and uh, always keep your exploits and tool ready uh, keep everything handy so you are not spending too much of time in doing the research work because when you are appearing for the examination uh, you that that will be a time but uh, after seeing the questions and uh, starting the reconnaissance time will run fast so when you keep everything handy it will save you a lot of time and uh, always give important to new concepts when you are learning like uh, i i'm weak in uh, active directory and uh, binary 
expedition and um, what else like uh, pivoting double pivoting so uh, remaining three sections like ctf and uh, iot so those are equally good but uh, i focused on these three parts uh, l- spending extra time for learning because these three uh, modules or uh, have equal weightage and it is difficult to solve so i i am suggesting you to spend uh, some extra time for learning the new concepts that you are not aware of and always follow the methodology that you are doing um, it will be correct and have the backup plan as it said already and um, don't miss the practice range so you will have only 30 days of time Uh, make sure you are using it properly you have to complete within 30 days and uh, it is the replication uh, that you will see in the examination so don't miss the practice range